Welcome to an introduction to TallyJ for Officers. I'm going to step, make our way through the tool just to illustrate how things work and uh, help you get started. So first of all, when you come to this website, officers.tallyj.com, you come down, well actually what you should really do is read all the questions and answers first, learn, learn all about this, and it uh, it's not too much, uh, so I strongly recommend you read through it, but also look watching through this video will be helpful as well. So let's start it off. When we start, we have to get your name. So I'm Glenn, so I'll put in my name, and I say create the election now. Once I'm there, I have a few steps. So step one is putting in the names of all the other members. And this is whether they're voting or not. Um, so I'm going to actually, I think I have, yeah, there we go. I've got some names in there, so I'll just Paste those in from my list, Mickey and Minnie Mouse and Tom and Jerry. Yeah, I'm sure you recognize them. So add the four names now. So now I have five people who are part of this group. And uh, today I'll be mentioning Baha'i Spiritual Assemblies sometimes, but other groups are welcome to use it as well. Usually you'll have nine, uh, but uh, for this demo I just want to keep it at five. And unfortunately, Mickey has let me know that he's not able to vote today. So even though he's one of the people that we can vote for, he's not actually voting. So uh, I have to turn him off. Otherwise, we'll be waiting for him to vote. If I need to add more, I can add another one or I can just get rid of them as well. Going down, if you need to, you can name some visitors. This would let them watch the progress of the election and Every time some votes are tallied, they would see the results, but for today, we're not going to do that. Go down further, and we see uh, some positions. For my purposes, I'm going to get rid of this sample test one, and I'm going to add another position. Maybe let's call it a assistant secretary. And then I just move out of the box, and it's saved. This I'll let you read, then um, you can choose to turn this on or off, and uh, many uh, groups that are discussing it uh, will often leave it turned off and just discuss it uh, verbally. So once you've gotten down here, your election is actually ready. You can now share the link with others and then manage the election once they join. So sharing the link is the same as this link button up here, so I'm going to click on that. And there is the weird and wonderful URL. So I'm going to copy that and send it to my friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this window and make it a little bit smaller and bring in another window. And here my friend has already gone to, let me just get rid of this. Oh. Uh, I'll make mention of this. This uh, here, if you uh, click on it and talk, uh, write something here, I'll get that message and I uh, can respond and help you out. So my friend has already gone to officers for uh, TallyJ for officers, but uh, when they come here, they don't see any way to get into my election, which is exactly right. So I've copied this link and I email it to them or give it to them in my chat or presumably you may be in a Zoom call while you're doing your election. So I share this link with them and they enter that link and hit enter. And it pops from right in and says, who are you? So I'll say that this one is Jerry. And we need Minnie and Tom to come in as well. So I'm going to actually bring in two other browsers. And again, we don't need this right now. And again, copy that link and paste it in here and hit enter, paste it in here and hit enter, and this one will be mini, and this one will be Tom. Okay, so we're all in. So now, this one in the top corner is my administrator, and you can tell that by looking at the little tiny A down beside the name. Um, that tells you who the administrator is. So I go back to voting. And now I have a list of positions. And let's start with the secretary position. So I'm going to view it. And then as the admin, I have this button here. Other people can also view that. 
and they don't see that button for starting the voting. So I'm going to say start a round of voting and if you notice everyone's screen just changed, mine included, to say that we're voting for the secretary. It took a couple of seconds the first time and to prepare the ballots but now all four of us, the four that are voting, all have a chance to vote. So I'll go first here and I'm going to say that I'm going to vote for Jerry but I'm not done yet. I have to scroll down and say submit my vote for Jerry to be secretary. So I do that. And if you look on another screen down here it says there are four people voting one vote has been submitted. And down at the bottom you see that my name is in dark green Jerry, Minnie and Tom all are in light green means that they haven't voted yet in this round. So I think this one will also vote for Jerry and down here we'll vote for Minnie or Mickey I guess and over here we'll vote for Tom. Now this is the last voter so watch all the screens when I click submit my vote. After a second or so it pops up and all of us see the results. Now this looks rather funny so let me explain what's going on here. I'm going to just turn on this show all four of my voters. So this person up here when they voted they were assigned a special symbol for this vote only and it was the little soccer ball it looks like and they can look down in this list the same list that everyone sees and verify that their vote is in the right column. So yes I voted for Jerry and sure enough my symbol is underneath Jerry so I, I'm I'm assured that my vote has been counted correctly and it's for Jerry. Others voted for other people, uh, so the Moon also voted for Jerry, Diamond voted for Mickey, House voted for Tom. Okay, so there was no majority vote uh, winner there, so now the admin comes over and says start a round of voting for secretary. So I'm going to say click and everyone's screen changed over to vote again. So I'm going to say Jerry, and let's do another Jerry. Now, if you remember rightly, in this corner, my symbol was a soccer ball before. Now it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And down here, I'm going to vote for Mickey, submit, Mickey, submit. And again, so now we finished the first round of voting. We've done another round of voting, and it's two and two. Because we have three, uh, five people involved, someone has to have more than more than half of the votes of all five. Even though there's only four of us voting, there's five people, so we need to have at least three votes to win. So let's do one more round here. So round here, and again we're ready to go. Let's say Jerry. I'm gonna vote for Jerry. This one's voting for Jerry. This one's voting for Jerry. And this one, well, let's they vote for Mickey. Voila. We now have Jerry declared as the winner and has been elected to serve as secretary with the three votes. So we are done now doing the secretary. And you can see here, secretary Jerry has been elected. Um, this is nice. It records it for you, but you as individual humans need to record this yourself because when you're done this is all going to disappear. So we could, if there is some issue, we could start another round of voting for the secretary or as administrator I can switch over to say okay let's go for chair and start a round of voting for the chair and watch everyone's screen. They all switch over to say voting for a chair. It reminds us that Jerry has been voted for as secretary, but there's no reason or no, the tool does not stop you from again voting for Jerry as the chair as well. But let's not do that for this time. And there we go. Okay, no clear winner. So the administrator comes back and starts another round of voting. Let's do Mickey and submit, Mickey and submit, Mickey and submit. Let's even go Mickey and submit. There we go. Mickey has been elected to serve as chair. So there you have it. 
basically work through the positions in any order that you wish. In fact, if you want to change the order, you can even come over here to the admin and let's say the second assistant secretary should be displayed as being the second one. So now when I go back to voting, assistant secretary is displayed second, but we can choose to view them and vote in any order we want. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's, let's make Mickey the assistant secretary as well. Now obviously I'm showing you four different people's screens. Um, each person would be seeing their own screen and only their own screen. And there, Mickey has been elected to serve as his assistant secretary. So you can see that, okay, this one didn't refresh. So here's a good example. At any time in the process, it's safe to go up and click the refresh button and reload your election and the screen will clean up. So we could do the next two, but I don't need to for this demonstration and that's it. Once you are uh, satisfied that all your positions are filled, you're done. You can just simply leave the election and when you leave it, you're leaving the table but you're still connected to it and you can claim your name again and go back in or when you're done, when you leave it, you can actually say leave this election and completely leave it. And that's it. If you go back in to start, you'll see way down at the bottom your previous elections on this computer and I can go back to that election and claim my name again and see everything that's there to see. As the administrator over here, I can go to the setup, go way to the bottom, and delete the actual election. So I'm going to do that now. And everyone just got bumped out and that election is gone. And if we go to start and we try to use that old election, it just doesn't work. It's not there anymore. So that is about it. I'll just point out that for Baha'i communities, this guidance document, which was also listed at the top, is a set of quotations and guidance from various authoritative sources explaining about Baha'i elections. And many uh, assemblies, when they come to vote, will actually take time to read through a number of these documents together just to make sure everyone's understanding what they're voting for. And also there's some additional ones up here that talk about the processes of the election and what happens if someone wants to excuse themselves from being elected, things like that. And that is about it. So I will leave it to you and trust that your elections will go smoothly. Thank you.